in the previous video we stopped and said that using the fixed cost column of project Libre is not a very good idea because it brings a lot of trouble and now we will show you then how to add fixed costs in project Libre the first scenario that we discuss is a scenario for resources that you have a fixed cost but which you assign only once for example a subcontractor uh, that uh, must do a certain job and you already paid that subcontractor or you will pay him just one amount and uh, that amount will be spread over the duration of the project and then uh, this is a basically a cost per use scenario then complete uh, the cost per use and only use uh, uh, the resource uh, then once a second scenario is uh, for resources where you have a once or fixed cost uh, and no other cost but you assign this multiple times over the use of the project and uh, then you use it for free for example you have the sunk cost of a computer that you paid for already or for printers uh, that you will pay once off now this is then a uh, case where you have the cost per use and any time where you use this uh, in a project you use the cost per use and everything attached to its cost per use is zero rate you have is zero rated but the fixed cost you have as a dummy resource and that fixed cost you the dummy resource you only use once and we will later on show you how to add this dummy resource but uh, have a zero rated uh, cost per use over time whatever and then you can use this resource many times and only have a dummy resource that you use once in the third scenario you pay for and use a resource uh, per day and every day you use it as a fixed cost irrespective if you use it for the day uh, for example you uh, hire a community wall uh, for public participation you have a workshop on a day a sports event no matter how many hours you use that uh, on that specific day that resource if you use it two hours three hours five hours it doesn't matter you will pay that fixed amount and this makes it therefore a little bit tricky there therefore you can't just uh, have it uh, as an hour on hourly basis uh, because then it means that the uh, amount may be reduced so all you do then then is use this and complete the uh, cost per use and then every day you use it uh, you use it as a uh, five times this resource that you use if you use it for six days use it six times the resource that you need and then you will have six cost per users that you pay so just complete the cost per use and then if you use this uh, maybe five times six times then you just uh, when you assign the resource just add how many times you use it six or seven this scenario number four is slight as a slight variation of the previous scenario in this scenario you have fixed cost plus a cost per use for example a uh, car rental wants a basic admin fee plus a rate per day irrespective of how many kilos you travel or what time uh, you bring that vehicle back similarly uh, in the previous example they when you uh, hired a uh, venue there were no other costs but here is a basic cost plus a daily fee irrespective of uh, how long you rent that venue for that day just to note that in this scenario you cannot use a standard variable rate because if the task is scheduled for two hours the rent will then be costed for two hours whilst in fact you must pay for the whole day 
So how do you do this? In this scenario, you finish the cost per day, the cost per use, excuse me, the cost per use. You fill that in and then every day for how many days you use that resource. It is uh, then when you assign the resource, you say six times for six days, eight times for eight days. And the, say now, the uh, uh, cost element that is involved, for example, uh, the deposit uh, that you must pay, use that non returnable deposit element, uh, that uh, uh, fixed party element, as a dummy resource. And we will show you later on how to assigned dummy resources. In the last scenario we address is a fixed cost plus a variable cost plus a cost per use. For example, you have a, a ambulance service uh, or security service. You pay them a fixed amount contract fee. You will be on standby for us for the duration of the project as a uh, service provider. Uh, security firm, uh, the ambulance services, and every time you come out, there is a cost per use, and then is a variable cost. You are work six hours, and you want to be charged for that. How do we deal with this scenario? In this scenario, you you then complete the standard rate because uh, this is now, of course, the standard that the person must uh, be paid for, and also the cost per use. Uh, because this is every time they come out. Now the fixed cost element, the fixed cost element, the monthly fee, uh, the quarterly fee that it needs to be paid irrespective of that, that you assign then as a dummy resource. A dummy resource is, as I said, it's not a real resource, it's uh, a dummy, it's uh, just a way of dealing with a weakness presently in Project Libre uh, where the fixed cost element, uh, if you fill in that column, throws you a little bit out. Now how to add the fixed cost element as a dummy material resource? You just add uh, the fixed cost as a resource, a uh, consumable material resource that is charged at a cost per use. Please remember you do not add this as a work resource because uh, if you add it as a work resource it will show up as hours, especially in the histogram if you go then later on into the histogram, it will show up as hours and you're not interested in the hours that contribute to a work, you are interested in the cost that it will cost for a certain task. Then you set the cruel uh, time as a pro rated, the cr cruel uh, cost, and then clearly indicate when you have your resource and indicate it as your resource, clearly indicate that it is a, a dummy resource by putting some indication maybe in front or at the back of the cost. Uh, in my case, I just um, prefer to have FC, fixed cost, in front of the resource. For example, fixed cost for the ambulance service, FC ambulance service and not just ambulance service ambulance because you can you can be uh, confused in the resource sheet so in the resource sheet for the ambulance service for example you have ambulance service as a resource and then you have additional thing fc ambulance service and this is then how it is uh, uh, shows on in the resource information sheet you will see that the name is indicated FC Garage, FC what monthly, uh, well, whatever instances you have. And this is the resource window where you fill it in, fill it in as uh, and the resource uh, breakdown structure. I use a fixed cost. And as I said, emphasized, you put uh, the type as material. The resource information sheet then in the cost tab, there you will sit uh, then on the cost per use, uh, the amount that you want. If you are going to pay them per month, per contract, it doesn't matter. You just put cost per use and how many times then you 
need to refer to it uh, that is the time that you when you sign it and this is then how the resource will look the dummy resource in the resource sheet and in the resource sheet I just broke up the resource sheet so that you can see then it continues because if I put the resource sheet at once it, it, it will show not clearly enough and there it is as a unbroken table when you assign uh, this uh, dummy fixed cost uh, then to uh, this task because you must assign the dummy uh, fixed cost uh, to a task because if you do not assign this dummy resource uh, it will just uh, uh, not register and it will virtually disappear you must assign or remember to assign the fixed cost uh, the dummy resource to a certain task maybe you can add it to the overhead task or to the task itself and then when you assign it you uh, put the number of units uh, then as uh, the number of times it must be used or be assigned thank you very much for watching this video we love constructive comments and criticism please like and share this video and subscribe thank you